we are so close to the end. Tonight at midnight, youtube.com will no longer be accepting entries. After eight amazing years, it is finally time to review everything that has been uploaded to our site and begin the process of selecting a winner. We started YouTube in 2005 as a contest with a simple goal to find the best video in the world. We had no idea we'd get such a great response. You've uploaded over 70 hours of footage every minute, and we've been blown away by the variety, imagination, and anything goes spirit that has driven the competition. We are all storytellers. That's what pulled me into this contest, you know, like stories of how to Photoshop and stories about the Hoppet Trailer HD. I encourage everybody to watch as many videos as possible before YouTube deletes everything tonight. Every video that has been uploaded to our site will be reviewed by our staff of 30,000 technicians. They'll narrow down the submissions and then our Steam panel will select the best video which will be announced when the website goes back online in 2023, featuring the winner of YouTube and nothing else. Our team of judges is made up of distinguished film critics, YouTube celebrities, and some of our most prolific commenters. Yes, it's a product unboxing, but I think it adds to the product unboxing genre, and it subverts our expectations as an audience. I don't suck, you suck, and so is this video. Look. I'm pretty sure that the first 10 minutes of Citizen Kang is great, but what I love about Epic Skateboard Fail is that it's short, it's funny, and it's straight to the point. But is it the best video on YouTube? We're going to have the same conversation about all 150,000 videos that we watch. It's an amazing process. We always said that this shouldn't be a popularity contest. Gangnam Style has the same chance of winning as a video with 40 views of a man feeding bread to a duck. Of course I'm hoping to win, but even if I've inspired just one person to go out and harass people on the beach, that's something I still feel pretty good about. I'd better win. Otherwise, all those years traveling the world were just an expensive waste of time. So my strategy from day one has always been post as many videos as possible. I mean, it's all about shots on goal. It's important that you keep pushing yourself. We challenge ourselves every day to think of groups of people who could react to some video that people already know about. Hopefully the judges appreciate the risks that we take as artists. When we heard about the contest, we spent months trying to come up with the best idea. Then Charlie bit my finger and I was like, write that down. I did dancing. My dad put a lot of money into this dental surgery I didn't even need, just so we could win this contest. He'll be really, really upset if we lose. It's not just about the recognition of being the world's best video. As promised, when YouTube started back in 2005, the winner will also walk away with an MP3 player that clips to your sleeve and a $500 stipend for your next creative endeavor. So remember, get all of your last minute submissions in by tonight at midnight. While your work's finished, ours is just beginning. It's gonna be an exciting decade.